Today, we're going to unbox Little Circuses. It's by IDW Games and designed by Kevin Wilson. Now, the first thing that caught my attention, it says one to seven players. Now, a lot of games will say two to four players, but really, unless it's designed as a two-player game, it may not actually scale down that well. And a lot of games will expand to six players, but going to seven, sometimes it's nice to have a game for a bigger group. So let's take a look inside of it and we'll see what it has. Let's start with a look at the rule book. We have a little story giving you the premise of the game and they show you all the components and everything you should have received in the box. We have the setup. Everything's laid out nicely with an explanation. Now remember, it's not a big game per se, but with up to seven players, you may need a fair amount of table space. And then we get to the rules themselves. Goes nicely step by step, have some visual examples to help you along, which I always encourage in every rule book. And by the time you get to page four, you're ending the game. Now this indicates a couple of things to me. One, I'm hoping it's very easy to learn, but I'm also hoping that in their word selection and their explanation, they've been very careful and detailed so I can understand everything and get right to the gameplay. Also, we have solo rules variant, which I like too. Now, let's get a look at what's in the box. We have the main board here, which I will just unfold. Now on it, it'll show player order and track scores for players. The ringmaster, he's going to move from space to space on the inside, end of the game being Endsville for end of game scoring. Now this is the main board because each player is building their own little circus. Uh, we have a cloth bag with a little logo on it. And we have audience meeples for the game. And there's the uh, ringmaster meeple that'll move around the middle of the main board, as I said. Uh, we have tokens for players. Uh, we also have spotlight tokens. These are little clear yellow see-through chits. Um, so as you highlight a different aspect of your circus, it's like putting a spotlight on it. So that was a cool little thing they had in the game. And what's a circus without an audience? So each player will receive bleacher boards. And you start with your main circus tile. Each player will receive one of those, but what's a circus without attractions? Now in the game, there are 150 attraction tiles. These will vary in the game. They have starting ones and they have more advanced ones. Now, you know how people will post pictures saying like of the cardboard cutout saying, hey, what game did I just punch? Remember this configuration because I'm sure it'll be one of those pictures eventually. Another cool thing that they did is they actually have art on the inlay of the box. So that was just a nice little touch. And finally, we have the star attraction cards. Now there's seven of these. They are double-sided. Now I myself am a huge Marx Brothers fan and Groucho had a song called Lydia the Tattooed Lady. Well, the first card I saw was Lydia, the Queen of Tattoo. I just thought that was a, a neat little thing. So that is Little Circuses. I hope you check it out, and I hope you build a little circus of your own.